Liam Bowen, head coach at UMBC. For this third video in the series, I'm going to go through the red, yellow, and green days that our pitchers are assigned each time they come to practice and describe how we use each. Each of our days starts with a set of plyometric drills. I have another video and figure it out about that. Uh, I'm a believer in it. I'm a recent convert uh, to it. I haven't been doing it my whole career, but I think there's a lot of value there in terms of movement patterning that uh, you can get with your pitchers in terms of utilizing those plyo balls. And I've got the intensity right here for each day. So I'll start with the red day. We'll, we'll keep kind of going with that. Uh, we go at about 50% intensity on the red day, which is a general benchmark. It'll be a little bit up to each guy. It'll be a heavier day in terms of volume. So whatever drills they do, a lot of times they'll do multiple sets. It depends a little bit on each drill. And then if they want to do some dry work off the mound, I'm for it. Um, it's not necessarily something I, I make mandatory for each guy. After that, we get into our spin drills and cadence throws where we're trying to create uh, and manipulate spin on the baseball, uh, basically try and get a breaking ball shape established before we even start throwing. I've, I've become uh, adamant about that as, as the years have gone on, and even more so recently that that's something that you really need to hammer with your guys every day, at least at my level, even if we're doing it at a low intensity. Same thing with those cadence throws. And then... After that, if the guys want to be done throwing, for me, that's okay on a red day because the, the focus is going to be on our recovery. Uh, they can throw some arcs and just kind of loosen up their shoulder, but um, if, if that's not something they want to do on that particular day, I think you have to give them that freedom. Uh, at the end of the day, they're the one that's attached to their arm. They know how they're feeling. I think when you start to dictate throwing volume to guys in too heavy-handed a way, it can, it can lead to some issues. So we give them that kind of option and freedom, and then uh, they're not going to get off the mound on a red day. When we say details, that's uh, packages that we have that address what we would call the free 90 element of the game where we're trying to defend our position, defend the running game. So the shadow routine is a dry routine where we take them through a bunch of situations that can happen in the game. Things like bunt defense, first and third defense, force block defense, all of those things. And then after that, we get into our post throw. So when we're talking about post throw, that's mobility work, which is we always hit really hard. Our strength staff does a great job of giving guys um, mobility workouts that are designed to increase uh, the mobility that they have in all their joints, but also increase the stability and our ability to use end range of motion. There are some great resources out there for that. Um, drill work is just... Uh, anything that uh, the guys want to do from a post throw standpoint uh, with drills, there there are some drills that are that are better done uh, post throw, and that's um, uh, just any kind of throwing drill that the guy would want to uh, make a part of his daily routine. That's pretty free form, but this would be a day to hit it fairly heavy. Um, isometric and stability arm care I outlined in another video uh, here on Figure It Out, but we would we would hit it hard on a red day. And then uh, the running for the red day would be longer, uh, always sprint work, but there would be longer in duration and um, there would be more sets. It uh, depends on the level you're coaching at, what's going to be appropriate. And then it would be a, uh, a mandatory lift day, uh, something where if we have the opportunity to, we would get the guys uh, in the weight room. And then without going crazy deep into the, the details for yellow and green, you can see basically... It's pretty simple. The, the intensity for throwing goes up as you go to yellow and green, and the, uh, the arm care goes down because we're, we're trying to achieve a kind of equilibrium when it comes to the stress that we're putting on these guys' arms. So a day where you're really throwing them hard off the mound, that's not a day to beat them up with arm care. I think that's a common mistake. And where guys say, oh, we just threw a bullpen, we better really get the recovery process started. You're, in my experience, you're better off giving that guy a day bringing them back to the field the next day and hitting them hard uh, there from a post-throw standpoint. And it's the same thing with running. The days where the throwing intensity is low, we run harder. The day when, when the throwing intensity is high, we run less or not at all. And it's okay to miss a day with running. You're, you're not going to give back uh, any conditioning or, or ex gains in terms of explosiveness. Um, lifting, obviously, is the same way. So that was how we go through our red, yellow, and green days. In the next video, the fourth one in this series, I'm going to show you how we fit that into a weekly or a yearly structure.